uh, so manish one more like uh, there is a confusion among the candidates like uh, when does the verification document verification happens is it you know like uh, before you know after getting selected i mean the completing the tr or while the joining procedure when is this uh, document verification is happening actually okay so when we talk about the verification right uh, mm-hmm. so for a technical interview or mm-hmm. a hr into many candidates will get shortlisted but mm-hmm. only few will get the offers mm-hmm. so and even after getting the offers also mm-hmm. few candidates will accept the offer and few candidates will reject the offer mm-hmm. yeah so you know uh, so the background check it will happen once you accept the offer okay. mm-hmm. so if you first to start the background check you need to get the offer mm-hmm. and uh, once you accept the offer that you will be going to join this offer or mm-hmm. uh, you'll be going to join so and so company okay. so from then uh, your onboarding process and your uh, background verification everything gets started okay got it japanese body so one is one more like uh, coming to the document verification uh, some of the candidates uh, you know like they will be attaching some eligibility criteria okay so for example if a person or a candidate have been more than 60% aggregate in 10th 12th and in even in btech so okay. if a person will be having sometimes you know like uh, we will be having the situation like individual will be having 58.6 or 59.6 will you consider such kind of candidates into consideration need to talk on that yeah uh, so this kind of uh, filtration is done to mm-hmm. get the high qualified candidates mm-hmm. yeah Uh, yeah because you know uh, the person who because what will be doing is uh, one suppose a person having 90% in his 10th mm-hmm. and uh, 40% in his 12th okay and uh, 60% in his btech mm-hmm. is not like uh, is not consistent he uh-huh. or she is not consistent mm-hmm. okay so in any industry is going to look for a consistent performer yeah. who okay. can con- who can perform all the time okay so this is the criteria and as you said you know someone will be having a uh, 59.6% mm-hmm. yeah. and all mm-hmm. so this kind of filtration is done at the initial stages only okay so if i do uh, and as the automation tools we have so okay. they're not going to consider them okay. at this scratch level so basically it's like completely automation so all the data yeah. will be created into the machine so if you are equal to 60 or more than 60 you will be accepted or else you will be rejected yeah simple as uh, yeah. so as in c programming we'll just use if statement yeah. it is same as that <laughs> if, if conditions got it got it yeah exactly got it finish so monish uh, it's a billion dollar question basically so which one okay. is better uh, mnc companies or uh, startup companies yeah it's uh, it is a first controversial question no uh, it is best controversial question mm-hmm. because uh, being as a fresher you know so mm-hmm. everyone will be looking at top mncs okay mm-hmm. so i have few companies on my mind so mm-hmm. i have a dream company okay mm-hmm. you know uh, starting while well, starting at the engineering or mm-hmm. any career mm-hmm. they'll be having a dream company mm-hmm. so this is my dream company okay. uh, by hook or crook i should get this company mm-hmm. and it is not it is not bad that if you if you not get that company mm-hmm. even yeah. i had a dream company mm-hmm. i couldn't reach my goal okay. but uh, i'm happy with my career right now mm-hmm. i'm growing as well mm-hmm. so oh uh, it's it's quite difficult to say you know uh, so okay. it depends on people perspective okay got because, it because you know uh, if you go for top mncs mm-hmm. you'll be having great exposure to low inside industry so how the things are going on mm-hmm. and if you go for a startup companies they will be having exposure to outer world okay so how the outer world things are going on Mm-hmm. and uh, so when you go for a uh, and major difference is you'll be in the, you'll be not having the exact idea about a hierarchy uh, in the in- inside industry hierarchy that mm-hmm. when you when you will be in mnc so when you go to a startup company there will be having the complete hierarchy okay. complete view on a hierarchy mm-hmm. so how the things will be processed how the things will be going on mm-hmm. okay and uh, it all it obviously depends on a person and the perspective because you know uh even i do have few my few of my close friends who are working on top mncs mm-hmm. and i am working in a startup company <laughs> okay and yes so both will be getting paid as same same so it. it doesn't matter your skill set matters so and if you yeah. are uh, enough happy yeah if you are enough happy through the job which you are doing that matters your job satisfaction and your personal happiness matters 
so basically you know like what made me to ask this question is uh, there was a talk going on that uh, if you join to the startup uh, we will be having opportunity to to learn more things uh, if you go to the mnc okay. there will be a limited uh, you know like level of opportunity to learn a thing but uh, the real reality is everything depends upon the individual and uh, the individual mindset basically so yeah whatever the opportunity is there just go and just get it that's it just go and grab it you know uh, so as you said you know if you join for a mm-hmm. uh, startup company mm-hmm. you'll be having a lot of uh, skills to mm-hmm. learn and all mm-hmm. yes that okay. is uh, obviously true mm-hmm. you know if you join for a startup company uh, basically in startup mm-hmm. companies yeah. many many companies uh, struggle for funding and all funding. so there yeah. you need to perform a two to three tasks at a time got it. Got it. and when you go for mnc's they'll be having lot of fundings and all mm-hmm. so they can manage things and they can hire different kinds of people got it so that thing matters and uh, because the job which you do that will not limit you understood complete like it will complete like it complete like it so if you are if you are always happy to learn it doesn't matter if you are in a startup or in mm-hmm. a mnc mm-hmm. you'll be learning things got it punish got it. it so more is one more like uh, coming to it the core uh, company See, for example, I will okay. give a scenario. Okay, so like uh, for example, mm-hmm. a mechanical guy uh, who have done his mm-hmm. mechanical syllabus for the four years, uh, but at mm-hmm. the uh, final stage of his engineering, uh, he will go to a IT sector company. And okay. same thing with the CAC guy. So who he will be doing CAC for these four years, but at the end of uh, his engineering, uh, he will be getting uh, other other uh, domain job. So any talk mm-hmm. on that? Is it necessary to get a job in a particular core subject itself, or is it okay to shift for the domain? Any talk on that? Uh, it yes, and this question which is also depends on personal interest because mm-hmm. you know, uh, a guy from CS industry, mm-hmm. it doesn't mean he should completely go into a development side or a testing side and all. If he has good communication skills, he's having the ability to convince people. Mm-hmm. Okay. If he is able to communicate uh, mm-hmm. a lot, okay, and if he is having more knowledge, he can obviously go into other departments like sales. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, even every department is interlinked. Interlinked. Yeah. When we talk about mechanical department or uh, yeah. computer department or Agreed. sales department, marketing department, everything is interlinked. Agreed. Everything is interlinked, and everyone will be having the growth. Mm-hmm. Just take some time. If you work hard, you'll get the growth. Got it, got it, got it, Monish. Got it, and completely agree with you, man. Thank you.